So we were in this acting class and it was a different setup. We had ropes and next to me was one of my classmates and we had water that was about chest deep and we were like on our knees under the water. And so the note was to breathe deeply and go under the water and exhale all the way through before we come up. So Andrew did it, he nailed it and then it was my turn to do it. Then I messed up and he said, okay, we're gonna move on. And then to my right, I was in awe. It was Denzel Washington. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Locked up and for 30 years. King Kong ain't got shit on me. So I was looking at him in awe and like his demo reel was basically playing over and over of all his powerful scenes and in the background was a song called You Make Me Brave and him quoting like these Bible verses and so after he went uh, the teacher told me that I could go again I had a second chance right so I took a deep breath and I went under the water and I was exhaling all the way through and when I was pushing out, it was like I was way deeper than when I went in. And so I pushed out and I was exhaling, but I wasn't reaching the top. And then I heard a faint voice, which was my teacher saying, okay, get out. And then he was saying more panic, like, get her out, get her out, you know? And so then I felt myself getting elevated and carry to the front of the class and I could hear sirens and everyone's just like she's not breathing she's not breathing but I'm just there like what the hell are you guys talking about just calm down you know like I'm breathing I'm fine I'm good and it made me think of uh, when I fainted and my grandfather who's like he's old now <laughs> he carried me when I fainted and I could feel him and I wanted to tell him to just put me down because he was struggling you know but he wouldn't put me down and I couldn't say anything and I couldn't move and then I woke up, you know when you, you die in a dream and you just wake up before you die? I looked at my phone because I knew we were supposed to be here to film the thing today. And I'm just like, okay, um, I, I can't sleep anymore. <laughs> I gotta go like to work or whatever. And I was thinking, what the hell? What was that, you know? Like, why would I die in my dream? I feel too unsettled. I felt nauseous and I felt like, why, why did that happen, you know? And so, um, yeah, so I was thinking about wh why why that was and then I just started praying and I was praying in my bed and when I was finally like starting to feel peaceful and um, well first of all I was just like I am not ready to die and then and then I started praying and I was like <sighs> I started to think about the guru you know the guru that says you gotta want it more than you want to breathe. Like that whole story. And I, it was just like a whoa revelation to myself. Like, you gotta want it. I wanted to do the note more than I wanted to breathe. And I died in my dream. You know what I mean? And then I started thinking about my last audition, which was probably my biggest audition. And I was thinking like, they told me to go. They told me to, to just go ape shit, right? And I didn't go. And all I was thinking about when I left was like, well, Andre, of course, was telling me about how I didn't go. But I was just thinking like, why didn't I go? Like, they gave me full permission. They had a good clip and then they gave me another chance to go and I didn't go. And just thinking about the need to, to give it 100% all the time, you know? Yeah. And yeah, that was my dream and it kind of messed me up. <laughs> But I think that it helped me also because now I know that, especially when I'm given a second chance, I need to give it 100%. But I should be giving it 100% anyways.